really come to mind are Joshua and Caleb. Oh man, I love them. And how their, their faith and their spirit was completely different than the whole nation. It's in Numbers 13 and 14. And the story goes like this. Moses has just, they delivered the children of Israel from Egypt. They saw God move miraculously with the, the plagues. And he loosed the grip of uh, Pharaoh over them. They crossed the Red Sea. I mean, God literally opened the sea so that they could walk across on dry land. They're witnessing. There's about, they say, about 2 million people that, that were delivered. And, uh, and then the sea came and collapsed on Pharaoh's army. And so their enemies were destroyed. And now they, the, Moses takes them through the wilderness, and they're at Canaan. And they're ready to take the land that God had promised them. And God told Moses, he said, you know, take some spies and I want you to go scout out the land. So what Moses did was he took one leader over every tribe. There's 12 tribes of Israel. And so here goes these leaders into Canaan. They were, they were doing mission impossible. And they start scouting out the land. And then they come back to Moses and uh, they tell him what happened. They said, man, the land is good. There's, there's wonderful, you know, fruits and vegetables, just crazy stuff. And then they said, but we can't take the land because there's giants there. And they're stronger and bigger than us. We can't do it. Why would God send us out here so we could die in the wilderness? Let us go back to Egypt. And it was crazy because Joshua and Caleb had a different spirit. And they said, what the heck are you guys talking about? God said that we could take the land, and if he is for us, we can drive them out. We're well able. I want everyone to say with me, we're well able. They said they were well able. And then all of a sudden, the other 10 spies kept talking about all this negative stuff. God says it was a, a negative, evil report. And the whole nation turned on Joshua and Caleb. And they fell to the ground and they tore their robes and, and they, they tried to convince the people. And the people were so crazy and out of control in doubt and unbelief that they wanted to stone Joshua and Caleb for standing on the word that God had gave them, that they were able to take the giants in the land. And I look around in today's society and I see that there's mountains that need to be taken and there are definitely giants on those mountains. And when a person, a man, a woman stands up on the word of God, even within the church, when they really stand on faith on what God had said, it's not unlikely for the majority of those in the church and out of the church to turn on them because they're standing on the word of God.